up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. This guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, though. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official Ladies instructions. Here is this Bruce This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Assassin! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big head kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Kick to the body by Lee. Punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Get him, get him. Look at him 
chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That one's gonna be a nice strike. Just over three minutes to go round one. Now to go in the opening round. Nice strike. Circling to his right. Beautiful leg kick throw. Able to check that kick as well. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Powerful leg kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, wow! Head kick! Just missed with that right hand. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Just missed with the right kick. Big clutch lands through the middle. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, big punch land. Well, missed on that one. Oh, 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice punch land over the top. Left punch is true, now the right hand. Let it go, trying to let those hands go. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, that's a nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. He loaded up there on that high kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Huge block there. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice loop of punch. Point, and candidly, the location could not be any worse. If this cut gets any deeper and starts to bleed any more, prevailing wisdom is they're gonna stop this fight.
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice straight punch. Nice leg kick. Massive head kick. Oh, big left hook there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Great punch. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. And he landed the right hand there. Kick to the body by Lee. Connects now with the one-two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Set up that low kick. And misses with the right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Checks the leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Blocks the shot. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, and he connects with a punch there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's got the turtle in that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knees to the head. Final seconds of round three. Nice punch there. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right. Let's get back out here and work on that. There's a lot of blood. That's an open gun. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Visibly limping here. Big kick lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. There's no give on that leg kick. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Out of range with that kick attempt. Take him down. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Right punches there. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. with that right hand. Keep your hands up. Keep going. Nice punch, Lynn. Fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Campbell's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful body. Just out of range with that right hook. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just over two minutes to go. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, nice job to block the kick. What a punch. Nice one, two there. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Way to hide that leg kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Big kick land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. There's no tell on that leg. Back kick. and forth we go! Nice 
connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 15 seconds to go. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Nice, sneaky head kick. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. hip over when he throws that kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Hey. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Big leg kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Big leg kick land. Head kick. Oh, straight right. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice slip and counter there by Lee. It's such a fast leg kick. Two minutes now to go in this one. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. How about that shin? Nice kick. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, man, 
His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Looking to land the leg kick now. Beautiful strike. One minute to go in the fight. Nice body. Big kick lands. Seconds now to go in the fight. Just missing on the high kick there. 15 seconds. Look at him whipping his hip into that kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets a dominant.